I'm so glad you've decided to do a writer's workshop for today. It's been a while, so we're gonna review the last writer's workshop that we did in the classroom. It was learning how to write elaborate sentences, so giving more details in your writings. So our objective today, as we work on page 90, is asking questions can give you more elaborate details. And the questions we're gonna ask are about your senses. So we all know your five senses, so eventually I need you to write down your five senses. And you can do it now, or you can do it at the end. But five senses. And then these are the questions that you're gonna ask for your senses. Um, like, what do I see? What do I hear? What do I smell? What do I taste? What do I touch? And you're gonna answer these questions and that's what's gonna give you the details that can go in the letter that you may write. If you're gonna do Love Your Neighbor Project and write letters to elderly people who are lonely or your pen pal letters that, you, that you're writing. Um, so let me read you a paragraph about um, the senses. Somebody had written down, answered these questions, okay? So it is, I see brightly colored leaves. It goes over the site, right? It answered that question, what do you see? I see squirrels gathering nuts. I see pumpkins in the fields. I hear the cool breeze blowing. I hear the leaves crunching underfoot. I hear the migrating geese honking. So they answered all those questions, right? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you taste? Yeah, but it was kind of repetitive, right? I see, I see, I hear. So we wanna move away from those type of sentences and think of some sentence starters that you can have that are not, I see, I hear. So when we did this assignment in class, we did it on autumn. So now we're gonna change it up a little bit to refresh our memory on these things. So we're gonna do it on a swimming pool like your, your first day of summer to go swimming. I've talked to a lot of you and you have been swimming already. We've been swimming a little bit, we as in my children. I think it's still freezing. I have not been swimming yet. Um, and they don't last very long in the pool. But um, uh, Georgia, I know you went into a heated swimming pool. That was pretty lucky. Um, okay, so think about that. So, some sentence starters, so you don't sound like a broken record. They could be the pool water, whatever. Um, as I swam across the pool I saw, I was amazed by, I took a deep breath and. So see how we can still answer what you wrote down for your five senses, what you see, what you hear, but it doesn't start with, I hear this, I see this, okay? So then you need to write your list of what you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you taste, and what you smell. So I'm gonna write that here. Make a list answering your questions. So you're gonna write your five senses, and then underneath each one, you're gonna answer your questions. So I've done that on the pool. So, can you see it or is it all backwards? Um, so for what I see, I see the glistening water. I see the bright sun's reflection for here. I hear the cool waves splashing. I hear the children's happy squeals. I feel the crisp, cool water. I feel a shiver. Did you feel a shiver when you got in the pool if you have already this year? I taste the salty water. Our swimming pool is a salt water pool. Maybe you got into a chlorine pool. Maybe you taste the chlorine. I smell the white sunscreen that my mom covered my body in. Okay, so you've written your five senses. You've answered your questions about what you see, what you hear, what you smell. And then you're gonna use some starter sentence ideas and start writing your paragraph. So the paragraph I came up with was, 
The pool water felt crisp and chilly against my skin. As I walked down the steps into the water, I heard the cool waves splashing. Off in the distance, I heard happy children squealing. I took a deep breath and smelled the white sunscreen that covered my face. I almost tasted the salt water before going under. And I had a typo, not a typo, but a little editing mistake. So what you're going to do is then write your paragraph. And then afterwards you're gonna edit it or proofread it, I guess. Proofread what she wrote. And then I want you to take a picture of it and email it to Miss Everett or I, or text it to Miss Everett and I. So these are the things that you're gonna be doing. You can write those down real quick so you know, because this is your assignment for today in Writer's Workshop. And it's page 90. And you're gonna write the five senses. Then you're going to answer the questions, I see. And then you're going to write your paragraph with starter sentences, not I taste this, I see this. And then you're gonna proofread it. And then I guess for the last thing I should have put, you're gonna send it to me or Miss Everett. Okay. So if you need to see that list of things again, you can always pause this video to write them down. I hope you have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with.